hundreds packed a town hall meeting on what to do about it. 7 Action News reporter Brianne Pomerini is live on Detroit's east side where she heard a lot of frustration tonight. Brianne? Well, Carolyn, that town hall meeting was so packed because it's just so expensive to get behind the wheel here in Detroit. A panel including insurance agents, an accident victim, even a representative from a hospital all gathered to answer questions. I can't figure out why mine is so high. <laughs> Michigan has no fault insurance. The system has come under fire just recently with a Detroit Free Press investigation, the faults in no fault. But representatives with this panel say no fault is helping people because of the care it provides after an accident. But I'm telling you, reasonably necessary treatment is what we want. The panel and organizers say it's not the possibility of fraud in no fault insurance that's causing those high rates, but the way insurance companies calculate rates here in Michigan. Michigan is one of only a few states in the country that uses the use of credit scores, zip codes, occupations, and education to determine what someone's uh, insurance rate should be. That's legalized discrimination. Most people at the meeting don't know exactly what no-fault insurance means for them. They just want lower premiums. I don't understand it. These, these insurance companies, they charge us so much. Organizers here want the state to have better oversight of the way those rates are calculated. This form was put together to educate the residents on our no-fault system, but also to empower them to have a voice, go to Lansing, and bring the insurance company under some type of accountability. Because it's time that we stop talking about this issue, but get some rate relief immediately. Organizers say new legislation and regulations will be key. Live in Detroit, Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News.